good morning good afternoon good evening and good night whatever time you are watching this is me ron welcome to the new video in this video i'm gonna show you how to create a simple login form in java 9 using netbin ide 851 and mysql database before starting this simple project in java you have to install netbin ide and server application like one server i am using one server and you can also use other server application like zam server and palm server for mac i made the video about how to change the environment variable of your system in order to run the program that were written in java that video you should watch that video before starting this project i am gonna give you the link of that video in the description section below now after installing netbin open the netbin and click on file click on new project click on java java application next give the name of the project login form my sql now click on your project name and click on new click on the frame form click finish now drag the panel over here and extend it now you can change the background color of the panel there are different color whatever color you like you can click that color and using this color now drag to label for username and password and drag to text field and drop over panel for username and password as well also drag on button for login event now this is your login form you enter username here and password here. if the username and password you introduce match with the username and password that you entered in your database then a message box will appear with the information saying username and password match otherwise the message box appears with the information 
username and password do not match. Now open the one server. Go to the PS3 my admin. The default username is root and password is null. Now create one database named test SQL. Click on create. Now create our one table name login and field 3 id username and password the data set for the id is integer so leave the default data type integer the data type for the username is bear and the data type for password is also bad chart. Now give the length login is in a password 15. No 15, no 50 and 50. Now select the underscore i auto increment id to the auto increment. Click on save now. Insert username and password and entering username one and password one two three and click on go after doing this we have to download the mysql connector for java so go to my Mysql.com and then go to download and then click on community and then download my Mysql connector download this Click on download and then click on connector slash J. Click the zip file from here. I already downloaded this file and click on no thanks, thus it start my download. I already download this file so after downloading this file mm -hmm. the file name the file type is zip file so extract this file I'm extracting this file here mysql hyphen Connector hyphen Java hyphen five dot one dot four zero here. Now open your NetBean. Go to project and click on library. Right click the jar folder, click the and this jar file and click open. Now double click on login and write this code connection con is equal to null.
prepared statement PST is equal to null result set RS is equal to null I'll go to design, double click on login, write the connection string here, the string SQL is equal to select all from table name, we have created our table name login where username is equal to what and password is equal to what try in java 9 you need not to specify the class name you can connect any database simply by using the connection string so con is equal to driver manager dot git connection that is the connection string zdbc colon mysql colon double slash localhost slash your database name our database name is this sql username the default username is root and the default password is null PST is equal to con dot picture statement PST dot set string Oh, sorry. But you have to change the variable name, the user, and this variable name, path. We are creating the login, simple login form from Java where the user enter the password, username and password so we need to write the code that is the username and password to read this dot get text pst dot set string to Dot the text. Sorry, I use the user. RS is equal to PST dot execute query. If RS dot next.
ग्रे ऑप्शन पैन डॉट सो मैसेज डायलॉग नॉल यूजर नेम एंड पासवर्ड मैन एल्फ जे ऑप्शन पैन डॉट सो मैसेज डायलॉग यूजर नेम एंड पासवर्ड डू नॉट मैन कैच एक्सेप्शन एरिया वे ऑप्शन स्टैंडर्ड सो मैसेज डायलॉग नॉल एयर Well, we got the error here. The error says incompatible type java.sql that connection cannot be converted to com.mysql.jdbc.connection. This is because of this. Now go to your project and right click wrong side. Is this our project? You can run file, enter the username here and password here, click login. It says username and password do not match. This message is obtained because of you enter the username and password that is not stored in your database. If you enter the exact username and password that is I am using run as the username in my database and password is 1 to 3, click login. The message box is it here. District the message username and password match. That's it, guys. This is the simple project. If you think this video helps you in some extent. Then subscribe my channel, give thumbs up and comment if you have some problem related to this video. I love comment so because this encourages our interaction. Thank you for watching this video and have a good time. Bye.